For the summer reading challenge this year, Bournemouth Library are giving out these makeaway craft bags and inside you can find some odds and ends and recycled materials that you can turn into for endangered sea creatures. However, you can easily find these materials yourself. You do need one of these craft bags to follow along with these activities. So these activities include a sea otter, a seedy sunfish, a seal and a turtle. Don't forget to pop down to one of our BCP libraries this summer because we have lots and lots of new books for you, all for this year's Summer Reading Challenge. And there are picture books, books with information on how to save the planet, storybooks, lots and lots of new books, especially for this Summer Reading Challenge. If you want some information on how to join the Summer Reading Challenge, there is a video linked in the description below. So in today's video we're going to make a sea otter out of a brown paper bag but before we do let's learn a little bit more about sea otters. Sea otters are mammals, they are a carnivore, they eat sea urchins, fish, clams and mussels and all types of creatures like that. They are part of the weasel family, they live in the Pacific Ocean in North America and Asia and they can grow up to four feet and weigh up to 65 pounds and they live for about 25 years and they are endangered. Sea otters often float at the water surface. Otters sometimes float in forests of kelp or giant seaweed in which they are entangled to provide anchorage in their swimming area. Sea otters are meticulously clean. After eating, they wash themselves in the ocean, cleaning their coat with their teeth and paws. Sea otters have thick underfur that traps air to form an insulating layer against the chilly waters. Sea otters are hunted for their fur to a point of near extinction. Early in the 20th century, only 1,000 to 2,000 animals remained. Today, sea otters are protected by law. And you can find this information in the booklet, which you can print by clicking on the link in the video description down below. So let's make a sea otter out of a paper bag. So first of all, you need a paper bag, some green tissue paper, an elastic band, and the otter parts, which you can get in the craft bag from Bournemouth Library, or you can draw them yourself. So first of all, we need to color in our otter. So I have on this piece of card from the craft bag, the otter's head, two hands, and two feet. You can either use the printout from the craft bag, or you can pause the video and copy the drawing. So I coloured mine in with my crayons and now you just need to cut them out as I'm doing here. And again, I am turning the paper or the card rather than moving the scissors because that will give you a much cleaner cut. So once you have cut them all out, you need to take your paper bag and take the handles off and use a elastic band to attach it like I've done there. So it looks like a body of an otter. And then you need to stick on the head and the arms and I've attached some of the green tissue paper to the hand to make it look like seaweed and you just need to attach the feet like this. So it looks like they are flippers. And there we have the sea otter bag and it's very very easy so why don't you find a paper bag and make it into a sea otter. That is all for today's craft video, a nice and easy craft for you but we'll see you in another BCP library video very soon.